months of anti-government protests, a wave of unprecedented dissent. Crossed arms have become the symbol of the fight of the Oromo people. Put onto an international podium by marathon runner Faisa Lalisa, a sign of solidarity as he crossed the finish line to win silver in Rio. And replicated by another Ethiopian runner at a marathon in Canada this weekend. Despite assurances from the Ethiopian government, the lesser has not returned home, fearing for his safety amid accusations of a brutal government crackdown. It began in November. Oromos protesting against a master plan to change the municipal boundaries of the capital to expand further in Oromia and develop their farmland. Activists say their peaceful protests were turned ugly by security forces. Most of this uh, demonstration uh, were met by uh, excessive use of force. The situation in Ethiopia is a human rights crisis and we, we need to act. Rights groups say around 500 people have been killed and tens of thousands arrested. The government disputes this and says the situation is under control. And although it has cancelled its development plan, protests have continued and also spread into the neighbouring Amhara region, exposing wider accusations of ethnic marginalisation and government oppression. These are the biggest anti-government demonstrations in Ethiopia in decades, and at the centre are the Oromos and Amharas, the country's two biggest ethnic groups. But it's the Tigray who make up just 6% of the population that dominate politically. The Tigrayan People's Liberation Front led the Rebel Alliance, which overthrew the communist-backed military regime in 1991. It then founded the ruling coalition. But the Oromos have long complained that they don't have proper political representation, and that power and wealth is disproportionately distributed among the Tigray elite. While the Amharas, who dominated Ethiopia before 1991, have been protesting against the control of a district they believe they have rights to. If these protests continue to escalate, will this anti-Tigray sentiment also grow, putting Ethiopia at risk of sliding into ethnic unrest? Yvette McCullough, The Newsmakers.